What's happening, gamers? Welcome to another exciting episode of Gamers Theory. 101 here. Uh, this is the continuation of the little three-part series here that had another bit to it that I alluded to. And a member of the science team has gone missing. We'll have to save him. So, I'm playing Doom 3 here, and this is the bit of the discussion that I will, that I am directing a bit in the topics towards more Steve Quayle's side of things. And that's why I have picked Doom here. I watch a lot of Steve Quayle's stuff, and recently, and of course over time, I've heard him talk about video games in a sort of, in a way, uh, mechanically sort of, that's the same as the way Jones talks about video games, but in his own, through his own lens of his biblical knowledge, this thing is funny. Turkey punch. Uh, <clears throat> and I heard him, I'm paraphrasing now, I heard him recently in one of the videos that I was watching and he was talking about the new Doom and uh, I believe that's the one he was talking about. And, you know, he's like, he's like, the games are going to hell, they're all full of satanic stuff, and, <clears throat> and, you know, alluding to that being bad, and bloody blah is bad, full of satanism and whatnot. But, like I said with the in the Grand Theft Auto videos on this subject he's looking at it from the the outside perspective somebody outside the game and culture somebody outside of it itself who hasn't played the games and is looking at an an exterior perception of what it is <clears throat> so I just want to basically basically do the same the same kind of a thing here. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because it's a shooter, so in order to keep my train of thought and it's it's woo, it's one of those shoot 'em up video games, but it is it is also Doom. So it's got the satanic stuff in it. The point of this the point of this is that this eventually might make it to Steve Quayle. So I'm going to I'm going to try my best to cover all the little the little points that I want to cover. So basically the story here is that you are you are the doom slayer which is you're basically just a, a generic space marine <clears throat> if you don't if you don't go super deep into the lore of 
of it. I mean, on its face, you're just a dude, a, a generic space marine. But, uh, you get called to this power plant on Mars where these scientists basically have a little portal to hell. It's like they have CERN here. They have a portal to hell that... <laughs> It's the, mo it's the most mundane use of hell. You got access to hell, and you decided to use it for a geothermal power plant. That's, that's the story of Doom. <laughs> you got a portal to hell, and you decided to stick a pipe down there and run water through it. And because of that, I gotta come up here and shoot fucking demons. Thanks, corporations. <laughs> so, so like you know, if you're if you're Steve Quayle looking at some advertisement for Doom playing on YouTube or something, you know you're probably you probably are gonna say you know oh what the fuck because this this game is advertised as you know rip and tear and you know. <laughs> But but just think about the think about that for a second. That that story. <laughs> like it's not like you're worshiping Satan or Something like I mean if anything this is a game that Steve Quayle should be playing If anything you would be showing up to this battlefield with like a Bible and a crucifix and uh, Like like Steve Quayle's phone number in your phone See, there's your, there's your portal to hell there. Try to protect this guy. Wednesday. <laughs> Take that, demon! What do you do with demons, quail, and zombies and ghouls? That's what you do with demons, zombies, and ghouls. So it's not exactly, I'm not exactly worshipping, uh, Satan over here while I while I walk around knee deep in the bits of his minions I've got to fall back to Marine HQ in order to help the other soldiers defeat these demonic these demonic uh, fiends This is such a, a rush hectic of a of a moment here <clears throat> this rush back to the HQ. Lost a fair bit of health to the, uh, I'm on veteran level. To the couple of ghouls there.
These guys could really use Steve Quayle's advice. It's a mess. Now, another point. Take this, demon, foul spirit. Now, another thing, another thing. I'm going to, this, this, uh, conversation of this video is going to be split between stuff for the gamers and stuff for, for, uh, Quail and Jones here. So, for the gamers... If you're playing this, I noticed, shoot the dead bodies, because the dead bodies have a tendency to disappear and then reappear, but not dead, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, once you've downed an enemy, you know, restomp that groin, as Master Ken would say. Oh, buddy. Now, to something... Man, I gotta get moving. I can hear my guys. Always liked this pistol. <laughs> now to address something that, uh, oh that uh, Alex Jones has said a bunch of times. I believe talking about... Huh, I thought this guy was getting chased by something. Talking about the original Doom. <clears throat> Oof, their pistols are so OD. That, yeah, like... Alright, so, even if... So let's say, yeah, I haven't researched it, but, you know, I'll, I'll uh, give you the benefit of the doubt there, give you the, the credit, the, uh, the tenure, to say that uh, I'll go along with that for the sake of argument. These games started out as a Pentagon training project to get soldiers to be better marksmen and more willing to pull the trigger on an enemy. <clears throat> now... Now we, for the sake of argument, are going to agree with that statement and say that, yes, this, playing this game will make you more effective on the battlefield. <clears throat> with that in mind, let's think about the context of the game for a second. I'm trying to save people here. <laughs> and... If, uh, like, normalizing imagery to the brain um, helps you statistically that they found to pull the trigger easily, more easily, on an enemy, alright? Now, this isn't training you, really, to shoot people. Like, these are fucking zombies and... Lovecraftian abominations coming at you. And I gotta save this guy. Oh, fuck, no! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you Lovecraftian abomination! Could have saved that guy. And then talked to him later, regardless. So, so let's say the bottomless pit opens up. You know? I think, uh, you know, or if you were confronted in real life, like, let's say that the, we're agreeing that all this is true, then, then I'm just, like, training myself that that moment when I see something like this, I'm not going to sit there in shock and then die because I'm, like, shocked by what I'm seeing to the point of inaction. Like, you know what I mean? It'll be, it'll be like Shaun of the Dead to the, in the sense that, like, 
in our world we are aware of of this <clears throat> Like, like, you get what I'm saying? Oh, man. What the fuck? It really loaded me far back. There's got to be some more health around here. So that I'm not... So that I'm not running through the hallways there. So far, from what I've seen, I kind of like this game more than the than the new ones, just because this is more claustrophobic and more like uh, tense. You need to get the fuck moving, like, go, go, go! <laughs> I think they reversed, like, the... I don't know, it's taken me a minute to get used to the placement of the action and the jump button. So... Uh, Action button's triangle, and jump button is, um, X. It's like the opposite of Fallout. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I'm 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 killing demons here. Like you know I mean the real nasty looking monster ones haven't shown up yet. Now I'm you know having a There's one of them on the other side of that door. And yeah, the new Doom, I guess, takes you to hell. You go to hell. Guess why you go to hell. Guess what you go there to do, probably, most likely. I, I can imagine... I can imagine you... Pro I can imagine hell is not uh, too enthused with your arrival. Let me let me put it that way. <laughs> let, me, let me put it that way. <laughs> Not very excited to see you knocking on the gates there. <laughs> Not exactly thrilled. <laughs> Property values in hell are going down. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm gonna have to break this up into into you know three parts again, but I didn't um, pause it, so that's gonna be a bit of a bitch. Whatever. <laughs> oh, went the wrong way. Oh, 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 I'm gonna save this guy. Oh, this time. Oh, I'm gonna get him. All right. <laughs> well, I guess on that note, I mean, I, I think I've said most of the stuff I want to say, but 
I'll collect my thoughts and come back to it for a third part in a bit.